Hello and welcome to the Rebel Systems Table Service iPad Point of Sale Overview Video. In this video we will walk through the features of our Table Service iPad Point of Sale system. To begin, you'll need to log in or clock in from the Rebel login screen. Employees can clock in by using the clock in and clock out buttons in the lower right hand corner and entering their four digit PIN. From here, you can decide the role with which you would like to clock in, and then you will be successfully clocked in. Employees can then enter their four digit PIN to log into the system to be brought to the table layout screen. Here you see our table layout for our main dining room, as noted in the upper right hand corner. You can have as many rooms or sections as you like, all with different names. Again, in the upper right hand corner you see here we are on the porch. To open a new table, simply select the table, and if you have the setting turned on, you can select the number of seats, for example, six. And here you will see your menu on the right hand side, broken down by category, subcategory, and products. To select a product, simply click on it. And if there are any modifiers associated with it, you will then be able to choose or unchoose as you wish. You can then assign that item to a seat as well as a course number if you use coursing. You can continue to add items to the number, correct seat and course. Once you have entered the preliminary part of an order you can always just send it to the kitchen or select help to go back to the table display screen. You will notice the open table is now in blue. Once items have been sent to the kitchen, they will turn gray. If you are using coursing, you can fire the next course by selecting an item that has been sent and selecting fire course 2 or whatever the next course may be. Once you have added an item, you can edit it by selecting the item on the guest check. From here you can edit modifiers, select the dining option, add discounts, whether they are preset discounts or manually created discounts on the fly, remove the tax, change the course or seat number, select for the item to be shared amongst the table, split between two seats. You can print a label, copy the item, or set a delivery date if the item is being pre-ordered. You can also enter special requests that your patrons may require. Many of the options that are available for the item edit can also be applied on the order as a whole. Down below, here you see we can add an extra item, discount the order as a whole, set the dining option, print the guest check, enter a barcode, move a table. For example, if you're sitting at a bar and you want to transfer your tab to a table, you can transfer an owner at the end of your shift for another employee to pick up, enter driver information if it is a delivery order, reset the guest count, remove gratuity, or remove tax or change the tax. Once you are ready to pay, simply select the pay button for the payment tab to slide over. If you are having any printer errors, you can always redirect the printer to any of your other printers to help alleviate the problem. From the item edit tab, you can select the amount and type of tender that you will be used to pay for the order, including cash, credit card, level up mobile payments, gift cards, manual credit, or credit plus for outside payment. Let's select cash and the system will automatically work out the change required. The system will then make change and you will be prompted to either print or email your receipt. If you email the receipt you can enter the information directly onto the iPad
and the customer will receive that receipt. Select done, you'll notice the table is no longer blue and you can move on to the next order. Similarly, you'll notice at the bottom a number of options for bar tabs. If you open a bar tab, simply select a square. You can add a name based on the credit card. Select your items and put the order on hold to be added to later. Furthermore, you can search for previous orders based on a number of criteria and managers can always log in to check the finances, print sales reports, check on your employee clock in and clock out times, capture your batch process at the end of the evening, and change your POS settings. There are a number of different options under the settings tabs as well, including declaring tips, printing sales summary, processing your tills, various printer options, the ability to create and manipulate gift and reward cards, clocking in, clocking out, editing of photos within the iPad app, and the ability to resync or push all of your orders to the cloud. Thank you for watching. As always, if you should have any other questions, please don't hesitate to contact us.